Barbershop Conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, September 28th, 4720 West Slauson Avenue. Uh, we're getting close. I think I might have found a food truck today. We're getting real, real close. So, free food, free bags, ticket giveaways, free haircuts, free fellowship, unity in the community. Uh, it's going to be amazing, man. And, and uh, I can't wait to see y'all. And it's going to be fun. So let me delve into this real quick. I finally had the time today to sit down and do this. We're about to go live in about a couple of minutes after I get done with this video. But I want to read what Shakur Stevenson said. Mm. Shakur Stevenson, quote, all that other side of the street shit in boxing is so trash it takes away from the sport i'm a boxer and i'm a boxer fan i enjoy seeing and being in the best fighting the best so bob al and even eddie and oscar need to have a big ass meeting and make boxing great again end quote sounds good he's young and I, I, I tell you, I have a great infinity for Devin Haney. I mean, excuse me, Shakur Stevenson, because he reminds me of my son. You know, he, he kind of favors my son, you know, um, handsome, usher type looks. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it just reminds me of my son. And um, so um, it sounds uh, that's called a utopia, Shakur Stevenson. And I always keep it real. I think Shakur Stevenson can handle what I'm about to tell him because I've he knows how aggressive I am how aggressive I am as a reporter. Shakur Stevenson, you should have started your own promotional company and became a free agent. You signed with top rank. They didn't deliver Oscar Valdez, nor did they deliver Neho. I mean Neho uh who's the guy getting Neho now? You didn't get Neho. Uh the African kid who moved up from 122, bypassed you at 126, and you didn't get Carl Frampton, <laughs> and Oscar Valdez, Dog Bay, Isaac Dog Bay is his name, and and so if you're not getting them on your side of the street, you can't cross the street, you understand, and that's the business of boxing, man, uh, Shakur, you, you, you should have did your homework, Team Shakur, Team Stevenson should have did their homework. And explain to him, I'm talking about family members, family members and friends, people he, he trusts and confide in. Um, you should have known the, tur the turmoil that was in boxing. Oscar and Bob Arum teamed up and sued Al Heyman. On a personal level, they're probably not going to get along no time soon. From a business perspective, in terms of making great money, they're going to get along. And in terms of of fulfilling the requirements of mandatories they're gonna get the job done but when it's a choice nah they ain't gonna do it you know what i mean they want each other to fail miserably you know you can tell by the landscape of boxing it's like the bloods and the crips you know the only way to eradicate bloods and the crips if you give everyone a job you know what i mean if, if, if you reinforce independence if, if you reinforce value you know um uh, and I said this for a lot of young fighters. Uh, you got to build your own brand. You got to build your own buzz. Um, I believe internet media is the new print media of old. You know, I'm not waiting on Ring Magazine that come once a week, once a month, whenever it came. I'm not waiting on my Sunday newspaper. You know, to find out what happened Saturday night. I'm not doing that anymore. I wake up, check my brothers in the LDBC, and I get everything I need to know. You know. These fighters aren't building their own brand. Devin Haney was on Trill Boxing Talk this morning building his brand. He has a fight next Friday. Shakur Stevenson, you need to come on. Your um, your teammate, Davis, I believe his name is, I donated to his, to his. Uh, I actually donated to him and didn't know nothing about him. I donated to his cash app, you know, and um, I think it's very, very important that you understand who you are, what you represent and where you're going. You know, like Team Stevenson can only do so much. You got to step in front, as you did with this tweet. But you're an optimist because you're young. I don't know how old you are. 
No, you just turned 21, right? So you're probably 22 now. And uh, um, I think that um, you're going to have to understand the landscape of boxing. And your next move got to be your best move. You need to sit down with Bob Arum um, and Team Stevenson and get the job done. Because if you're looking at Joette Gonzalez, you got a purse bid September 14th, I believe. And um, hopefully it works out to your favor. Hopefully the fight gets done, you know, and um, we'll see. But at the end of the day, become a realist. You know what I mean? It's beautiful to believe in a utopia. But, but you know what a utopia is? Heaven that you create. Happiness that you create is a utopia. You understand? It's not here already. If you guys understand what I'm saying, there are moments of brilliance where, you know, we go to our favorite place here. But at the end of the day, it starts from within. It starts from what you believe, what you create, what you value and what you're willing to risk, what you're willing to sacrifice. On the other side of sacrifice is great greatness and a utopia. You know, what I mean, people. People are afraid to take risks because they become complacent. They stay at their job, making fifty thousand dollars a year. They stay on welfare, getting that twelve hundred dollars a month. They stay on disability. They uh, uh, they just allow life just to pass them by every day. They're basically sitting on their own porch their whole entire life. They never jumped off the porch. They never stepped off the porch. And Shakur. You better make sure that you're able to step off of your porch. You haven't gotten the fights on your side of the street. How do you expect to get these fights on the other side of the streets? And it's personal out here. It's about the green dollar. It's really about being number one. Just like you want to be number one and get and unify at 126. Listen, if Gary Russell didn't get the fights at 126, what makes you special? What makes you special enough to get the fights at 126? Leo Santa Cruz will never fight you. Abner Mares will never fight you. Who else are the other names at 126? Guillermo Rigondeaux will never fight you. Well, he's 122. Gary Russell will never fight you. Build your own buzz. Come on my YouTube channel. Go on your next favorite YouTube channel. You need to do your job. You're a young, up-and-coming fighter that has immense talent. I watched you. I'm not going to say I watched you. I studied you, your last fight, your last two fights, maybe three fights. Your last three fights, I've been really, really keying in on you, and I'm very, very impressed with you. Uh, I'm very impressed with your intellect. I, I, I'm very impressed with how you can have fun and think at the same time in the ring. I enjoy that. Um, um, I watched your sparring footage the other day. You just dropped. Uh, but at the end of the day, build your own buzz. You know, the same way you watch your favorite mogul build his own buzz. The same way you watch um, another athlete build his own buzz, you know. That's what you got to do. You have no competition. The world is yours. Build it. If you build it, they will come. Grandma told you that a long time. Well, your grandfather. I would say your grand, since your grandfather is real close to you. Your grandfather told you that years ago. If you build it, they will come. I'm waiting on you to build it. You should be in music videos. You should be at um, uh, uh, the thing down in New Orleans. I forget what it's called, 4th of July weekend, Essence Festival. You should be at NBA All-Star Weekend, Super Bowl, um, P. Diddy parties. You should be at all that, having a great time because you're 22 years old. You only got a job three times a year. You're a real professional now. You're only fighting three times a year now. You should be enjoying all of this. Don't be a hermit. You know, I mean, you're very articulate. I love how you articulated yourself. When my last interview with you in Vegas, I believe, June was the last time I interviewed. I should have interviewed you maybe once or twice since then. I haven't heard your voice in this blogger sphere. 
I saw your tweet. Now imagine if you talked regularly. Imagine, I don't know how many videos is going to be, be responding to this to this tweet, but imagine if you talked. Build your own brand. Be independent. That's 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 one of my key components to my success is being independent. I only know of that, so I only can speak of that. You understand? Be independent of everything else. Be in front of your team. Make sure they're following you. Obviously, you want to listen. You have very instrumental people on your team that's that's accumulated great wealth and great success. In addition to that, you have to lead. You know, you have to be the director, the producer, and the lead actor. You know, be be Spike Lee. <laughs> Go get a slice of pizza in Brooklyn. <laughs> Do the right thing, y'all. In case y'all missed it. Uh, but anyways, man. Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe. I just want to make this video, man. Shakur, it's the reality of boxing. You know what I mean? It's just the realities of it. Ain't nothing changing. It's not going to change. It's like the Bloods and the Crips, the Republicans and the Democrats. You can change, though. You can grab it by the horns, but in the next two or three years, it ain't changing. Uh, do, do I want it to change? Yeah. Do I want to see the best fight the best? You, shit, you bet your bottom dollar. Do I believe it's possible? Twice a year, three times a year, four times a year maybe. You know, Maybe I'm a too much of a realist. Maybe I'm not using my imagination. Maybe I don't believe in a utopia as much as you do. Maybe I'm too pragmatic at 41 years old. I don't know. I'm just saying you be the difference. You be the buzz. Every problem that I've ever had, that I've ever thought of, I've thought of a way to personally, individually solve it. I'm going to get the event I'm putting together uh, September 28th. Be the solution. Be the change. Be the bridge from good to great. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. And you're, and if you're coming out, Shakur, I would love to have you. Come out September 28th, man. It'd be great to have you. I'll throw the mic your way. It's going to be a couple hundred people there. You know what I mean? And real intimate. If, if you show up, they're going to love you forever. I'm just saying. Barbershop Conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And you get to meet my son, too. Uh, and then, he, then you'll see what I'm talking about. So hopefully you get a chance to meet him. If you're here September 8th for the Earl Spence Sean Porter fight, I would love for you to meet my son. I, I would love to take that picture. That would be pretty cool. So uh, I love your optimism. But it's not realistic. I love your candor. It's not realistic. <laughs> Barbershop conversations, man. Keep grinding, Shakur, and focus on your fight in the late October. We'll be rooting for you. And uh, uh, I'm excited to see you. You're honestly one of the biggest reasons, for those of you who don't know, Shakur Stevenson is one of the biggest reasons why I have the ESPN app. I, I want to follow his career. It's one of the biggest reasons. So. Uh, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you soon. Peace.